Hello everyone, Megatronic here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Animated Universe Optimus Prime. Th this video isn't sponsored, but a huge thank you to Transwarp Toys. Um, because of them, I was able to get this guy right here for retail when he's going for like 70 bucks on eBay. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> this guy's great, but he's not worth 70 bucks. Sorry. Check out Transwarp Toys. There's the barcode, and there's all their information, yada, yada, yada. Thank you. Um, I will be buying more stuff from them in the future because they have stuff I want. I need, well, not needs. I saw this guy in my most recent stop motion. Optimus, please hurry. We're outgunned and outnumbered. You got that right. Stand down. I gotta promote that because I want more views. Uh... <laughs> So, yeah, th th this guy is great. I really do like this guy. Um, let me let me get this out of the way real quick. Yellow, I painted. I painted over his head a bit too. I don't know if you can if that's gonna turn well on camera, but you can. Uh, my paint plastic. So yeah, I I, I just got a close blue because the yellow kind of spreaded everywhere, and I had to repaint his head a bit. Um, yellow here and here I painted. Yellow here I painted, yellow here I painted, the black around his feet I painted, and the wheels being in gunmetal I also painted. Sorry. <laughs> I've, I got this guy, I was bugged so much by it, I had to paint it right away. Um, I still need to get his headlights, I kind of forgot about that. Uh, so, yeah, and I had to paint him up for the stop motion. But, yes, he, <laughs> um, I won't be doing the transformation for this guy. I'm not going to do transformation for my reviews anymore because... One, it makes the video way too much longer. And two, I'm uh, not smart. Uh, I can't really describe the things correctly, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm lazy. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, this has to be one of my favorite legacy figures. Uh, I, I, Y'all know me for loving animated. But... This guy. <sighs> Solid figure. Uh, okay, he, he does have some issues, but they're not horribly bad, you know? He just... Like, Emgo, Emgo said it best in his review of him. This guy really does have a presence. And ever since then, and Emgo's praising of this figure, I was like, okay, I, I need. And I'm glad, like, everyone else... And the Transformers uh, fandom is agreeing that this guy's peak. He's a great Optimus Prime. Even if you don't like animated, still get it. The vehicle mode can be a bit questionable with the robot mode. Oh, it, it's all good Optimus Prime. Very good Optimus Prime. Uh, here's, a, here's a comparison with another good Optimus Prime. Way about the same. More bulkier and taller than the Gamer Edition. Oops. I, I didn't I didn't think that'd be possible. But he is. And he's only a Voyager. And I feel like eh, it might I don't know. I'm kinda mixed. I like this one more just because it's animated, but I also like this one. And I got lucky and I found him at Walmart. Yay. Stay, thank you. But th this guy's great. Enough gushing. Um I'm sorry. There that's a lot of gushing. Let's talk about this axe, huh? Uh, as you saw, it extends. That is neat, neat stuff. Um, blue, silver, and red. And then this is gray. This is a cool axe. And guess what? Get think Hasbro designers think. So if you have Jetfire's blast effects, but not Jet Siege Jetfire himself. Sadly, out of some line. I'm going to buy a new one, though. But I kept the blast effects. And you can have it like that. That looks cool. That looks really cool. Best you're gonna get out of me, but oh, the axe is just a nice accessory. Really do appreciate it. And with the blast effects and all that stuff, this uh, I like this thing. One complaint I do have is I wish the um the handle wasn't as thick. I wish he he could hold it like up here somewhere. That's that's my only complaint about the axe. Is I just wish you know this maybe was. But I understand this has to extend somehow. So, yeah, enough about the axe. 
toy figure. Um, my head sculpt's kind of smudged. I'm gonna have to repaint it again. But um, yeah, on the inside, his eye was had like all silver all over it until I uh, removed it and stuff. I mean, the colors just work insanely well, other than the ones I painted on, and that also has scuff, but I just love the gunmetal, the black, the yellow, the yellow here. I'm glad they didn't continue this yellow down, it would look weird in my opinion. Here's the side, once again, this yellow is painted by me, but this guy cleans up real nicely, and he doesn't have, like, many hollow gaps. Maybe here on the arms, but they even try to mold it in with like little joint joining in there, which I appreciate. And some hollowness here, but that I mean, other than the thigh too, but that's about it really. Articulation wise, he has a hinge at the neck, which will help him look forward and back. That helps with stop motion. And a ball joint, you'll you'll get uh you won't get all the way around his head's too weird. You get a bit of a tilt. You can look up that much, down that much. Arms are on a swivel. Then you go about up that far. You get a bicep. You get double jointed elbow because of articulation. That's always nice. You get wrist. And you can also unplug that. And because the wrists are on ball joints, you can get some more articulation if you cheated a little bit. Just so if you kind of wanted to maneuver the arm. I know it kind of looks like he's... Breaking his arm a bit, but you could um, tilt the axe slightly. So I can show that off here. But if you do it like that and get it maybe like that, you can... Just as an example. It's kind of like how Legacy Blitz when you have to not have him have an elbow for that to work. For the transformation, which is a bummer, but... Eh. Waist swivel. Legs can go up that far. Back that far. Not quite the full Monty, but close enough. Thigh swivel. Deep knee bend. Like that. And the feet, you get rocker, which out that far. Because of transformation, you can move them back basically all the way. You can break his feet. And then because of transformation, there's another hinge. You can get the foot like in really dynamic positions, which that helps with stop motion. And that just makes the guy, this guy, so, so cool to pose around and stuff whenever. He, he makes a really great desk toy. Same with the Bumblebee. Um, let me get that axe out of here. Let me move this guy. For comparisons, Prowl. Bumblebee. E yeah, Bumblebee's tiny. Uh, now, now I, I don't have a complaint with him being this small. It's just, it... He needed more paint. So did him. But mostly him. He There's no way to excuse the clear plastic of this. And then he just needed more paint. This guy is customized, obviously. I don't know if you can tell or not, but yeah. For now, this is as close as we're going to get for a while until Hasbro decides to redo it again. <sighs> we also need a ratchet, but hey, I don't think we're going to get that for a while either. <laughs> That, that's a common mold. Swipe. It, it's just, it, it's the side swipe mold. Here is the, this is the, um, wing blade optimus, or the, the, the wing, the clear plastic one. Here he is with the optimus, um, just so you can get a sense of what goes where and all the other stuff. And <laughs> the fact that they're nearly the same height is fantastic. Like, he's not, this guy's not even a head taller. Maybe he's a couple of maybe inches, maybe an inch, roughly an inch around. Yeah, maybe just about one inch taller, which is cool. Obviously, this guy feels more substantial because of his gimmick and everything, but. This is, this is the better figure in my opinion. Better looking, but better to play with and feel, uh, yeah. There's from the side. There's from the back. Obviously this one cleans up so much better, but you know. And the other side. 
There you go. I hope we get a a jet wing version of him with a mask face and then with the yellow paint that I added. Okay, let me get this guy into vehicle mode. And here he is in vehicle mode. And as you notice, the roof is not tabbed in. Why? Because the this thing's a pain in the butt to tab in. But I did also want to show this off. Yeah, seats. That's cool. And then you have the steering wheel and the dash. They didn't have to do that, but they did. They also have like little, hmm. As I brought up, he's a lot like the Deluxe in terms of the cab transformation. The legs are just completely brand new. But the way the, um, the cab transforms, especially with the arms coming up and then the roof coming up like uh, that, I mean... In my opinion, that's a lot like the Deluxe from Animated. And I, and I really like how, at least him and Prowl, share elements from those toys. Um, mostly Prowl, but he um, is, is a lot like the Deluxe, which I do appreciate since I did grow up with those figures. Um, storage for the axe, you just... There you go. <laughs> uh, little tabs in there. Sorry, there's green around the feet for my stop motion, so just don't mind the green. There's little tabs in here. So maybe that's for something. Yeah, these tabs are mysterious. I don't know. I thought that was cool. I thought that was cool. The Hasbro. Hasbro boy. This leg is for my Nemesis Prime Custom. Please don't ask any further questions about that. That's why I went with gunmetal for the wheels. Just because this one went with gunmetal. And I uh, thought that would be a good match, but yeah. Obviously, this guy's big in joke mode. By a, uh, a good, good amount. Just because of the chest protrudes a bit more and how the feet are in nature, but yeah. So that's been my look. The Transformers Legacy United Voyager Class Animated Universe Optimus Prime. And is is this guy worth it? Hell yes. Um, just play, pay retail, please. Don't pay anything crazy. Um, but yeah, th this guy's very fun. Probably one of my favorites. Uh, obviously it's animated, so I'm going to favor it a bit more, but come on, he's cool. And with, with the cool Optimus Prime figures, please pretend my boom will be my, uh, Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime is right next to them as well. 2023 and 2024 has been the year of Optimus, I mean... I can't wait to get my hands on that Volvo Optimus, and I'm really mad that I was never able to get that uh, Commander Class Armada Optimus Prime, because I had to choose between him and Ultra Magnus, because I am unfortunately not made of money, <laughs> much as I'd love to be, but I am still only work a retail job, and I still have to pay bills, rent, all, all that good stuff. I'm so tired. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.